So here's a little project I call Tap and Talk. And all we have here is a speaker and an Arduino. And the speaker is hooked into analog input zero. And the, of course, the other side of the speaker is hooked to ground. And what this basically does is most people aren't aware of the fact that speakers are what we call transducers in the sense that they can not only create sound, but they can sense sound or they can sense taps or vibration. A lot of other uh, sensors that we use are not necessarily transducers. They can't go both ways, but speakers can. So basically what this does is it monitors for taps on the speaker because the speaker generates a voltage that goes into the analog input. It counts the number of those taps and it reports back that same number. You can also hook an LED to it and get the LED to light up for a period of time after it detects a tap. The trick of it is getting the code right getting the threshold voltage right so that it detects the tap because different speakers produce different voltages. So here's the code that I'll make available to you. And when you look at this code, you'll find out that there's a place in here um, in the uh, loop where taking, we're doing an analog read on A0. And many people don't realize that an analog input can also be turned into an output. So analog inputs A0 through A5 can be used as outputs in addition to inputs. And you can change their, their, uh, the way they work on the fly. So what we're doing is right now is we're checking for the uh, value on A0. And if that value is over 40, for this particular speaker it has to be over 40, um, it detects a tap and then it just goes through. The rest of the code is basically to count these taps and um, wait a certain period of time. And really what it does is if it doesn't get a tap within a certain period of time, it, it assumes you're not going to tap anymore. So it reports back the number of taps that you, uh, you tap the speaker with. To find that magic number, that sensor value, you're really going to want to go to the plotter, the serial plotter on the Arduino. And if you look at the plotter, initially it'll read zero. And if I tap on the speaker, I'm reading about 160. So to get the thing to safely detect a tap and not detect something else, a small vibration or a double tap or something like that, you've got to set that number high enough. The number I, I'm using right now, 40, is probably too low. I really need to make it even higher because if you noticed, I was above 80. So I can safely go back and change this number to about uh, 70 and recompile the code. And I should be able to go back and detect taps easily with no false triggering. And that's really the only tricky thing about it. If you use a small speaker, you're going to have a number that's much smaller than this bigger speaker. And the trick is to get the biggest speaker you can get, um, especially a speaker that moves up and down very freely, can move up and down quite a bit. Those speakers can generate quite a large spike, voltage spike. There's all kinds of uses for this. I mean, you could use it to trigger not only these sounds, but you can trigger notes. Um, I really got the idea from a book. The, the inspiration came from a book called Sylvia's Super Awesome Project Book. And um, when I started reading through this, I realized, yeah, why didn't I think of that? You know, speaker can be used as, a, as an input device. Also, other things that can be used as input devices are things like piezoelectric, 
piezoelectric devices like this little one here. And so I've got some other um, projects I'm going to show you that I've done using these piezo, these piezo discs. These are these generate a really large sharp spike and they work a lot better than switches if you need the ability to be able to make something happen with the Arduino quickly. Uh, one of the projects I'm going to uh, show you is a piano made with these little discs to send signals to the Arduino to get it to make notes and everything. So I'll post the code for the tap and talk and I hope you enjoy the video. And please check back for more Arduino videos. Of course, I haven't forgotten about a lot of the other things that, I, that I've posted in the past, like PLCs and sensors and, and other devices, and just general electronics. But right now I'm going through this phase where I just got a lot of Arduino projects I want to uh, share with people. So I hope you enjoy this.